What's going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to show you guys this easy one round strat for defeating Kallus, the Leviathan Raid final boss. But before we get into that guys, if you guys want to win some silver, stay tuned until the end of the video. Okay, so the raid has been here a few weeks now and many, many people have been putting out strats to take this big fella out as quick as possible. Today I bring you a strat teammates of mine use while doing this. This strat I ain't going to say is the best and the best way of causing the most amount of damage in the shortest time as there are still so many options to explore out there. What I will say is though, this is the best I've seen so far. Capable of an individual player doing over 1.5 million per round rotation is absolutely crazy. If a full team were to use this strat, absolutely it would be easily doable in a single run, 100%. On screen now, we can see the setup my pal uses, who by far causes the most damage on our team. Now if you can replicate this loadout, then definitely try it. I would showcase to you my character, but the weapon of choice which deals the most DPS is the sweet business, which is what I'm still searching for. Okay, so kinetic we have the sweet business, which is the daddy damage dealer here. We then have the Raid Scout. This I would suggest you use in any Scout or any AR, but this specific weapon is used solely for adds. So what you choose here is up to you and your preference. Power weapon we have a launcher here, the Raid one, but anything here which deals high damage will work. But it's all about that sweet business and working around that. We can also see the Celestial Nighthawk being used with a GG, but this actually deals less damage than you might think. Other options here could be better for you. The dodge option he uses here is for the instant reload of the wielded weapon. This helps a lot and saves a lot of time. So as you can see on screen now, while doing damage, he uses kinetic ammo first, then switches to his power weapon. Then when traveling to a second platform, he uses his dodge to instant reload his sweet business before he gets on the platform. The raid launcher has a perk on it, which reloads over time, so that also helps. But yeah, this isn't a hard thing to do. Each class in the game has some form of reload buff, which in the short run optimizes more DPS. The Titan has his rally barricade and Warlocks and their Lunar Faction boots, which grant the ability to automatically reload allies' weapons. A couple of these per run would make things much, much easier. Every class in the game does offer some form of faster reload or automatic reload. And that plays a major, major part in dealing as much DPS as possible in the time you have. Also, with the help of people being teleported, obtaining a decent Will of Light multiplayer, say 65 or above, a team of six using this strat would no doubt do serious damage, even four people, maybe even three people with a decent multiplayer. Now, it's important to note that the footage on the screen was a demo run solely for this video, so I could showcase to you guys the damage he deals doing this, hence why we all die. But you can see the damage being dealt by I think two people using the sweet business shows how great it can be. If you times this by six people, you could easily afford to lose a few Will of Light multipliers for sure. On screen now you can see his damage stats towards Kallus. 1.4 million and that is nowhere near the highest I've seen. I've seen almost 1.8 million, so close to 2 million damage per stage which is absolute ludicrous. Now before anyone rips me apart looking at these stats, I was using the Cold Heart which ran out of ammo literally on the first platform. This is why I need that sweet business in my life to test it out in the fullest. Also a full team of people running the Merciless would do great damage, but I doubt you compare that with a kinetic weapon or energy weapon which can match what the sweet business is capable of doing. But yeah guys, a simple strat for those struggling. It's all about the sweet business. If you've got it, Definitely try it out, apply what's needed for a faster reload, apply what's needed for ad control as you don't really want to be wasting your sweet business ammo on the ads and also apply a decent rocket launcher which you can use between platform usage of that sweet business. Using this strat which I will say and confirm I don't know it is the best and probably isn't but definitely works wonders for a bunch of standard players like us and that's why I feel this will help you guys at most in eliminating Callus fast and early because when you get teleported for that second time things can get a little bit sticky within that teleportation room a lot of things can go wrong avoiding obstacles avoiding holes and so forth plus i know it's hectic outside of the teleportation room as well so doing this on a single run is much much more efficient but yes guys try this out for sure and on that note, I hope you enjoyed the video and I am out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by people and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we 
understand But you and I will carry on You'll never get it right